The video review will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video review, the link is provided on the page below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD7850 IceQX Turbo X 2GB GDDR5 video card. The box itself looks rather icy. Cool looking box, literally. Doesn't have any pictures of the product on it, but it does have lots of features and specifications about the product. Now let me go ahead and open it up. Two security seals. There's one at the top and another one at the bottom. Another box here. Take this one out and we'll have a closer look what's inside that. They include a small sheet of paper and this is how to correctly install the video card so you don't damage it. Styrofoam here at the top. The video card itself is kind of sandwiched or wedged right into this. That's quite good because it's not going anywhere. And down here, there's a weight lifter user guide. I'll show you what that's all about in just a second. And here they include a CD with drivers as well as software on this, a user's manual as well as a case badge. They also include iTurbo software and I'll detail that later on in the video review. As well, they include a DVI to VGA adapter, Crossfire Bridge, and this is that weight lifter or support, and I'll show you that now. Now, this is rather unique, but in essence, what it does is very simple. It's just a support for the video card if you need it. If you choose not to use this, that's fine. However, if you're going to a lot of LAN parties, if you're transporting your case around a lot, I would use it. How does it work? Very simply. There are a couple of little pullouts here at the bottom and they have tape on them so they stick to whatever surface you put this down on. Just peel this bit of like paper off first and then stick it down. This part here is the part that will go up and down and you can adjust it to support the video card, you know, kind of like wherever you want to. Push your in at the top to push it all the way down and just you know go where you want to to support the video card now you can actually take this off entirely kind of just slips off here at the top and you could use just this part this video card has a pci express interface of three and it's based on the pitcan core which is built on the 28 nanometer manufacturing process and has 2.8 billion transistors now please keep in mind that this particular video card the 7850 is in the 7800 series and that series is considered mid-range the cooler on this does look very impressive now it has a plastic shell this is not any kind of you know aluminum or anything like that all of this is plastic that's fine it still looks very very impressive and in fact it is very impressive it has four heat pipes a humongous heat sink as well as a 92 millimeter fan and this fan pulls in cool air then forces that cool air over the many fins on the heat sink just have a closer look here underneath i don't know if you're going to see this but the heat sink actually only comes in contact with the gpu and not the memory the fan is also very quiet at around 28 decibels and that's in 2d mode so it will increase in speed when in 3d mode like for example when playing games it comes with four video connections a dual link DVI, HDMI 1.4A connection, which fully supports 7.1 channel audio, and two mini display ports. This video card has one six pin power connection and it's at the back of the video card. The maximum power consumption is 130 watts. Now, while that's not a lot, I'd recommend a decent brand name power supply, especially in a crossfire configuration. And speaking of crossfire, crossfire there's one crossfire bridge which means you can have a maximum of two video cards in a crossfire configuration this video card has a core
core speed of 1 gigahertz and the 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 256-bit memory is 5 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 1,280 stream processing units for vertex, pixel, and geometry data, 80 texture units, and 32 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 32 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 80 gigatexels per second. And the memory bandwidth is 160 gigabytes per second. The iTurbo software that's included shows the video card information. You can also overclock the core and the memory speed. You can use it to adjust the video card's fan, either on an automatic setting, fixed, or custom. It also shows the current fan speed and a lot of other options like for example loading this software when Windows starts and so on. So you're in the market for a bang for the buck video card? Well, you found it. This is an extremely impressive video card overall. It will play all of today's games as well as upcoming games easily. And remember, if it can't, you can always add another one of these for more performance. Now keep in mind that this is a 78 50 video card, not a 17900 series video card. So it's not super high end, but all things considered, this video card does perform extremely well. I love the look on it. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.